hi to Chaco. We have Chamiko here with the Archmage, with some uh, militia, with some footman. Over here we have Shao KK, Kajent, Blade Master. This time he does a one burrow attack. He's not playing against Night Elf. This time he's playing against Chamiko. He realizes against Chamiko. Chamiko is not romantic, guys. Chamiko doesn't go for the Fire Lord Tower Rush. You guys were uh, saying, like, okay, Chamiko, he's the master of Tower Rushes. Yes, Chamiko is. Um, you know, very aggressive and stuff, but actually now that I think about it, Romantic <laughs> commits even more to the Tower Rushes. He is, he does Fire Lord Tower Rushes. I, I don't see Chamiko do that very often, like Fire Lord first Tower Rush. Chamiko, uh, yeah, I mean, he likes his, he's, he's, you know, he has a different flavor of Tower Rush than the Romantic. You get Tower Rush at any point during the game and the strategies are completely different. So Chamiko and Romantic, even though they both are of the same breed, you know, they're both tower rushes. They are of a different subspecies. It's like a difference between uh, dogs and hyenas, right? If Chanmiko is a hyena, um, Romantic is a golden retriever. The blade master here, he's almost level two. Replenishment potion, okay. Archmage is level two. Is anyone gonna buy boots? Is the Blade Master gonna buy some boots? Can you play pro level? I would like to see you compete too. Unfortunately, I'm retired, guys. I cannot play because my fingers uh, have a finger injury caused by playing too much work for three. So I retired and I cannot play in any level, not even at noob level. Well, I can play mouse only, so I guess I could play at noob level. There's a footman blocking the Blade Master a little bit. This footman here takes a bit of damage. Are you calling romantic a dog? A uh, no, I was just comparing them to dogs. I was just saying like if they... I didn't say any of these players are dogs. Hello. He's a chihuahua. <laughs> if he's a dog. I only realized uh, like a few years ago that calling someone a dog is actually sometimes considered an insult. You know, I thought I always thought dogs were cute like... Calling someone a bunny is not an insult. Calling someone a uh, a cat is not an insult. Why is calling someone a dog an insult when a dog is like man's best friend? I don't understand. Healing words here on the ground, the Archmage. Like calling someone a pig, I kind of understand that that's an insult. Here comes the Blade Master. Does he get the last hit? He does get the last hit on the Ogre Mauler. And the Blade Master kills the peasant. There's a uh, dust use on the Blade Master. Blade Master has been spotted. We've seen Chamiko do this before, by the way, where he creeps this very early, gets level three Archmage and wins the game. So Shao KK, maybe he saw the game. Maybe that's why he know, knew Chamiko was creeping this. Because I remember another orc, I don't remember who it was. Was it Focus? Yeah, I think it was Focus. Maybe it was Focus yesterday. Focus was searching Chamiko all over the map and couldn't find Chamiko when Chamiko's uh, creeping this. So Kiki probably saw the game. He's like, okay, Chamiko likes to creep that uh, that creep camp. Let me get over there. But still, we have a level 3 Archmage. Which is really bad here for uh, Mr. Shao KK. Let's see if this Archmage can just win the game here. Level 3 Archmage is... Um, I think he's a little bit too late. And that's of course because the Blade Master harassed a little bit. Do we see a hero? No, no Beastmaster. He's going for the Mount King. Oh, he's going for the Mount King. If this was romantic, we'd, we would have seen a uh, Beastmaster. The Blade Master might be forced, or, or he might die actually if he's not careful. Okay, he uses the Greater Healing Potion. He, he knew, of course, the Mount King was about to show up. The Archmage is probably going to be fine. Oh no, there's no shop. Okay, I'm not sure how fine he is. He does have boots of speed, but there's one more hex available. Can he block here with some Militia or with Water Elemental? Okay. Okay, Blade Master is still only level 2, so uh, he doesn't have Windwalk. Not enough mana for the next Windwalk. Soon he will have another Windwalk, level 1 Windwalk. The Archmage now has to be careful. He has Healing Wards. Maybe. Okay, he doesn't have to use one. If the Blade Master would have gone uh, Windwalk there, maybe he would have uh, had to use it. That Healing Ward, just to heal his Archmage up a little bit. Okay, hi Chaco, hello Justin Bananas. Welcome back. He denied his level 3. Shao Keke doing good today. Yeah, Shao Keke is beautiful. He saw the Archmage staff there. Okay, 
it's probably uh, yeah yeah sure hello good morning chat good morning chat good morning clutch there's a healing word the archmage is healing blade master wants his level five ochre magi shadow hunter creeping some trolls this troll trapper is going down we have a spirit walker we have an early worm mill wait a second did he just build this worm mill because he saw level three archmage early because if you're playing against Chamiko. Okay, well, here comes the militia. Is he going for this uh, tower rush? Does he have towers? Or was he just planning? Sometimes they use, just use his creep, uh, militia to creep this creep camp. I'm not sure what uh, Chamiko was planning exactly, but now he's killing this creep camp. There's the Berserker Strength on the Grunts. There's a Depth on the Spirit Walkers. Blade Master gets the last hit on the Troll. Uh, where's the Archmage? Oh, there's the Archmage. Okay, Archmage here, harassing with the Water Metal. This guy's so low. Water Metal does get ensnared, and the peasants are retreating. But the Blade Master just killing peasants. Sure, why not? Kills one of them. It's level two Windwalk. And the Shadow Hunter gets rid of the Water Elemental. He's level two. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, this troll is dead. There's a dust. Does he pick up the wand? He picks up the wand of illusion. What patches this is still 1.28, guys. Nettie's is still 1.28. This troll, this forest troll is totally going down. These peasants going home. They don't want to die. Blade Master is still dusted. Do we have level 3? No. No level 3 Mountain King yet. Do we have a level 3 Shadow Hunter? No. No level 3 Shadow Hunter yet. Blade Master here in the background. So, yeah, as I was talking about this war mill, right? The war mill is amazing against a, uh, a beast master because you're gonna be towerish, right? But there was a mountain king. There was a mountain king. So this war mill hasn't done anything. He hasn't built a kodo, hasn't built berserkers, hasn't built upgrades or anything. Did he get an upgrade? No. So that's quite expensive. 200 gold. He's getting pillage, zeppelin. What can he do here? What can he do? Is Mount King level 3? The Mount King is level 3. Lionhorn of Stormwind. He TPs in immediately. Shadowhunter is still level 2 though. So Chamiko would win a fight now. 100%. Look how much uh, of a lead Chamiko has. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Why is Chamiko so far ahead? Look how much gold he has. Look how much supply he has. Did I miss something? Is he just creeping? Is it just from creeps? Must be just from creeps, of course. Oh, this war mill is uh, one reason. He's getting coded now. So KK uh, might get another unit as well. Spirit Walker or something. Go to 50 supply. Nice shockwave here. Gold juice on the zap. Oh yeah, zeppelin also costs uh, 280 gold, of course. There's a legion horn, legion doom horn. Pretty good item, especially against human. The movement speed is so important. 10% movement speed, like it just means a lot more damage as well, because your units can actually reach the human units. Blade Master going for this rock golem. He wants to kill it. He wants a nice item. Chamiko scouts this with the footman. The zeppelin, there's uh, nothing in it. <laughs> He's just buying time with the empty zeppelin. <laughs> He's like, hello. I might drop here. Chamiko totally uh, getting debated. Look, he's not creeping. He's just... Okay, now he's gonna kill the Zeppelin, maybe? I'm not sure why the uh, Shao Keke just uh, flies the Zeppelin over like this. But the Zeppelin does go down. What item did we get? So we mask. So good. Also, he has a great air mana potion here on the Shadow Hunter. Very powerful Shadow Hunter now. Very powerful. There's a manual of health and a tome of IQ. Does he pick it up? Do we see it for Chamiko? Does he pick up the tomes? This is so important. This decides who wins the game for sure. Okay, the Mountain King does pick it up. Chamiko has uh, a chance to win the game now. Footman doesn't have backpack, but he is scouting. We have the peons. Oh, Shao Keke wants to fight. He gets a grunt, he gets a raider. Yeah, beautiful game. Does the Zeppelin give XP? I believe not, right? Or does it give 25 XP or something? 
Don't think it does. This grunt has one armor upgrade. The Mountain King here gets a worse battle drums. All the magic goes down. Nice bash there on the Berserker. There goes the Berserker. There goes the first Ohio Priest. And the Archmage seems out. So, uh, Worshipping Battle Drums also decent item. Two footmen go down. Decent item. Plus 10% damage. A bit more extra damage. It's not as good as the movement speed here for Orc though, but this item. Legion Doomhorn. Okay, and Shao KK just creeping this. He finds a footman. There's probably the invisible footman. Invisibility uh, got expired. And now it's 58 supply against 59. Who's going to win? Oh, retraining to Blizzard. Maybe give the Claws of Attack to the Mountain King or something now. Because uh, the Mountain King has Claws of Haste. He attacks pretty fast anyway. And the Archmage is just Blizzarding. So he's not attacking. So I wouldn't mind seeing this Claws of Attack on the Mountain King now. Mount King invisible. Shadowhunter level 4, Mount King level 4. I mean, Blade Mash level 4, Mount King level 3, Archmage level 4. Who's gonna win this game, guys? 60 supply against 62. So much excite. Blade Mash is going for the Spellbreaker. There's a Blizzard. Is there uh, a snare? Here are the Raiders. I mean, there's a healing ward even for Chamiko. The Raiders do get an ensnare off, but look at this uh, positioning, hello. The Raiders, they, they have to walk all the way around the Militia and the uh, Spellbreakers to get that ensnare off. So they took a lot of damage, one uh, died. Blade Master is being surrounded, he has the info Potion, but he gets storm -bolded. The Archmage got hexed when he was Blizzarding, nice bash there, but the Blade Master still survives. These Militia now dying to these Spirit Walkers, they do so much damage against Militia. It's almost like they're just XP tomes here, and they all die so fast. The Archmage again gets hexed. We have plenty of mana. You use a greater mana potion already, actually. So not that much mana left, actually. Just, you know, 150 mana now. There's another heal wave. That's, uh... He will have one more hex or heal wave. And that's it, actually. That's uh, not that much mana. He has Sobi Mask. Uh, Chamiko going to the high ground. This Kodo, is he hungry? He eats a Spellbreaker. Where was the Michael on the Spellbreaker? Everyone in my chat saw that the Spellbreaker was about to die. But Chamiko didn't see it. This Mount King is uh, super low. He might have to use the Info Potion. He uses it. The Blade Master though, can he get the Blade Master? There's no mana for the Stormbolt. So the Blade Master gets away. And uh, Chamiko, I don't know what he has to do. Does he, uh, does he have a TP? Doesn't have a TP. He might have to buy a, a Zeppelin. But the thing is, <laughs> the Zeppelin doesn't fit all his units. Is he gonna ferry units over to the low ground? Oh, they tried to get the Blade Master. Blade Master very low, 57 hit points. The Mountain King here is, uh, okay, without a Blade Master here. The Shadowhunter, wait, what did he just do? Shadowhunter went home? Okay, Shadowhunter just, oh no, he has a shop over here. <laughs> the sh shop over there, Shadowhunter did some shopping with mana now. Oh, but the Blade Master, is he dead? The Blade Master dies just before the healing wave hits him. Now Shao KK has to leave. Shao, and look at Jum uh, Chamiko, 51 supply against 39. GG, easy game for Chamiko. I thought Chamiko had to retreat there somehow, but no. There is a Blade Master. There is a footman. Uh, does he go for the durable burrow? That's pretty important. Double burrow, pretty important. No scout, GG. Not, this is normal not to scout, by the way, guys. It's normal not to scout. So he knows the 33% chance is close position. So I think he's going for the second burrow. Is he going for the second burrow? He did against uh, his timing. The second burrow timing. No, no second burrow. He did the second burrow against Foggy. But, you know, there's a different matchup. You see here that uh, Char Miko scouts over there and now, okay, now they both know close position. Does he build a burrow now? Does he build a burrow? No, he's not afraid. He's not afraid, guys. He is Shao KK. He has, he has uh, nerves of plastic. Hello. There's uh, the Blood Mage, no, Fire Lord, Volcanus, the Fire Lord. Here he comes. Attacks the uh, Grunty Punty. The turtle even also attacking the Grunty Punty, but of course the turtle is just getting revenge for his friends, his family that got killed by the Grunty Punty and his uh, his friends. Blade Master. There's a burrow going up. The militia, of course, one right click on the burrow means it's gonna be cancelled. This uh, Grunt takes a lot of damage. 
I mean, it's just tanking the Fire Lord here. Maybe you should just right click the Fire Lord. Or is there a reason to stand over there exactly? He's blocking off, but what is he blocking off? Nothing really. There's a lava spawn. Uh, the Grunt took so much damage already. Is he going to die here? The Grunt is dead. The Fire Lord, he's still alive. Look at the Lava Spawn, just attacking the Blade Master, just doing so much damage against the Blade Master. Again, it attacks the Blade Master, and again, it attacks the Blade Master, and again, um, by the way, how many times does the fire Lava Spawn have to attack before it splits? I thought it was 14, uh, but the other day I was watching Grubby stream, and someone asked Grubby, and he, Grubby said it was 15, which is kind of weird, that it's a different number than I remember. This Blade Master is 19 hit points. Fire Lord is going for this uh, burrow. The Blade Master is dead, guys. And I think Shao KK is pretty dead. This burrow is going down. This Grunt cannot kill the Fire Lord here. It's, uh, Grunts are not Fire Lord killers. We know this by experience, from experience. There's one burrow. Uh, can this burrow not kill the Star War, by the way? Uh, maybe you should just kill the Star War. Before the tower goes up and kills the burrow. Okay, he's going for the tower now. Look how fast it kills the tower. The burrow kills the tower. It wasn't even cancelled. He didn't even realize the tower was under attack. But he's killing the altar before the blade master shows up. And the peons cannot even reach over to repair. And with the blumber mill being placed here as well. So, GG. Okay. It is 2 and 0 now for Chamiko. Do we see another one burrow attack? Or is he going for the double burrow attack? Fire Lords are so amazing in this matchup, guys. It's 2 0 for Chamiko. Is it just gonna fire Lord Towers and win three games in a row? Maybe. This would have changed my life. I would be a millionaire by now. Hi, Chaco. Is that 1.29? Hello, Fizzerick. This is still 1.28. Nadis is still 1.28. But we have later today, we have a tournament, the Hi to Chaco League. Qualifier number three, which will be 1.29. Nice wink, some afternoon. After work, work with three time. How are you doing today, Chaco? Hello, Robin and Senator. I'm doing great. I'm doing great, except that I kind of wanted to do some uh, shopping. I want to, you know, I want to buy some more chicken. I want to buy some more chocolate spread. Maybe some more vegetables. Now I, I have to resort to canned food to... Uh, Food in jars, you know. Not not fresh food. I like fresh food. Fifteen on units, not buildings. Yeah, we know we know that, of course. Who wins the first, the second? <laughs> I have a score at the top left. For anyone new to the stream, the top left you can see the score. It is two zero right now for Chamiko. Fire Lord won both games. The first game there was no Fire Lord. Warcraft tier. The first game there was a uh, Archmage and a Mountain King. There's Footman over here. Do we see one burrow attack again? Seems like it. It seems like it. Yeah, the second burrow should have been made already if he went for a second burrow attack. He's going to attack here uh, with uh, with Tamar Lumber. He's just going to attack. Ring of Protection. He can't protect against the Fire Lord. How nice. Uh, oh, at your cup, I mean. Oh, the first one was won by uh, by Happy, second one by Lucifer. The burrow is going to be cancelled. Easy peasy cancel on this burrow, of course. And then, you know, then what? Then he's going for the Blade Master. Okay. And of course, his burrow again maybe can be cancelled. Fire the lava spawns. Hopefully, we can see split so we can see them darken. That would be amazing. This Blade Master here taking a bit of damage. He does get rid of one lava spawn, but we have another one. If we see this uh, lava spawn darken, that would be like such a oh, wait, big deal. But the uh, Fire Lord is dying. Is he going to die? Yes, he's dead, right? Is he dead? One more attack. Yeah. Lava spawn, Chan. Okay. Oh, he's just uh, he's attacking. He's not afraid. Kill the, uh, the lava lord. He's like, okay. Okay, now but he's attacking Burrow, so that doesn't help him. At least not in a uh, sense that that won't help him split. He's now going for the, the Blade Master. No. Hmm. So, more towers going up. Oh, this tower 
in a range of the burrow, it will never go up, guys. His lava spawn is uh, is gone. Level two blade master now. Fire Lord is back. So uh, maybe he okay. He builds war mill. That's nice. Maybe he should build a second barracks over here. He's building some grunts. He has two grunts. This peon is in range of the tower. Is there a reason he's is making a secret passage, guys? A secret passage. Maybe so he can, you know, kill, kill, cut some more trees. These two trees, and then the peons can do a flank attack on the towers. Uh, footman going for the barrel. The grunts are defending. They should have been standing here already, right? They should have been there in the whole position. I'm not sure why they weren't. Blade Master is not doing anything. He's like, why would I defend my burrow if I can just stand here and do nothing and slack off and no one sees it? Well, I saw it. There's a third grunt out. Uh, there's the second barracks, by the way. Instead of here, he builds an even safer spot, which is fine. There goes the burrow. He rebuilds the burrow. And, you know, things are going great. I mean, shall we go kill that burrow? What is this? A arcane Vault. Okay. This lava spawn. Do we finally see a lava spawn split this game? I would like to see the split. And to see that uh, the dark evil lava spawn. But no, lava spawn chan is... Uh, okay. This tower, you know, this tower going up. The tower is going up. And there goes the lava spawn. The grunt here is uh, taking a lot of damage. Fire Lord makes sure to cancel the tower. This blade master is doing just fine. For now. And there goes the grunt. He denied the grunt though. I think. Yeah, he denied it. And this, uh, the footman with the fan now going for the grunt. There's the first demolisher. He should build another burrow, but he doesn't have the money for it. What is he getting? More peons? Okay. Bur uh, the altar goes down. So, these two buildings gone. The burrow gone. More towers built. More, more towers. More towers. Towers are just great, guys. Towers are great. Towers are amazing against town halls. Because the town hall cannot attack back. So it's not very uh, not a fair fight, of course. It's like a blade master killing a peasant. Or it's even more one-sided. There's the demolisher. Does he have the next burrow going up yet? There it goes. Oh, I'm not sure about that position. But uh, there's not that many good positions anyway. This demolisher. Oh, what is this sheep doing? Is he blocking the demolisher? Imagine if he's going for the demolisher and the demolisher stuck thanks to this sheep. He should probably kill the sheep. I know, I know, PETA, etc. But uh, this sheep might kill him later in the game. Th there goes the shop. Okay, without the shop. This burrow also going down, so we will never see a second demolisher. Without a second demolisher. One demolisher, not enough, guys. One demolisher is not enough. Blade man, this grunt is dead. This grunt is going to die. Cook, look, cook. Blade master, nice 90 damage critical strike. The peons uh, blocking the blade master. That's nice, of course. Blade master very low. We have to, oh wait, we have a second demolisher. Of course he lost a peon or something, or a grunt. And that's why he was able to build another demolisher before the for, before he built another uh, burrow. <laughs> These demolishers making room here so they can move over there. And you know, this is a much safer spot, of course. With the peons. Uh, the, hello, Blade Master, what are you doing? Just healing, okay. Over here they can be repaired by the peons. And uh, you know, there's only two footmen here. Yeah, and there's a repair here. These two demolisher will survive, but the stronghold. Hello, stronghold. 80 hit points, 60 hit points, 40 hit points, 10 hit points. Gone, guys. And without the stronghold, there's no chance for Shao KK. GG. Chamiko wins 3 to 0. 3 to 0, guys. Congratulations to Chamiko. Winning the Fast Cup 9. And uh, winning a lot of monies, $159 or even more, 1,000 uh, Juan, 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 whatever you called it, that monies. Uh, 79 here for Xiao Keke, that's beautiful, beautiful.